nation shall do what? Shall serve and obey him. They can serve and obey him. That's we right. are going to rule in the next kingdom to come. That's that's right. Right. That is the promise that's given to us. That's that's right. Right. Yes, uh, 1533. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 33. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel. The children of who? Of Israel. Me. And the children of Judah. It's talking about you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. We were oppressed together. We was what? Oppressed together. We've been oppressed. We've been oppressed by our enemies. That's right. We've been oppressed today by our enemies. Esau, Idumian, Edom. That's right. The colonizers. That's We've right. We've been oppressed by our people today. Right. Right. And all that took them captives, held them fast. They did what? Held them fast. We're still in captivity today. That's right. right. The children of Israel. God's chosen people are still in captivity today. Oh, right. 51 and uh, 12. Finish that out. They refused to let them go. They do what? They refused to let them go. They That's have right. not taught us who we are. Right. We have been looking to our oppressors for information to uplift our people. That's right. Guess what? It's never going to happen. Right. These churches are never going to teach you the information so you can rise up as a people. Right. You can never expect the people that has enslaved you to give you knowledge to come out of your condition. That's right. They are keeping you a slave with Christianity. Right. They are keeping you a slave with Islam. That's right. Read that in uh, Jeremiah 51 and 33. Read. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 12. Bring it up. Set up a Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. This Bible, it is the standard. He says, set up that standard in the walls of Babylon right here in America. Right. Right. That's right. Make the watch strong. Make the what? Make the watch strong. Look around you. The prophets of God are back, and we're standing strong. That's right. right. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes. Prepare what? The ambushes. Prepare an ambush. Guess what, Esau? You getting ready to be ambushed. That's with right. this truth of the Bible. That's the men right. of God are coming back to set up an ambush on you. That's we can right. ready to store the laws that you have set up. Right. We can ready to bring down this kingdom with the laws of this Bible. That's right. We're going to raise our people up. That's we're going right. to raise our people back up. We're going to raise them up from the decayed state they're in. That's right. We're going to teach them these laws. The watchmen are going to stand up strong. Read that from the top again. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. He says, set up the standard. Bring back this Bible to life to our people. That's Please. right. Make the watch strong. We're going to make our people back strong. Right. We're going to uplift them. We're going to bring them back from the decayed state they're in. Right. Read. Set up the watchmen. Read. Prepare the ambushes. Prepare the what? Prepare the ambush. Esau, you about to be ambushed with this truth. Bro. That's you right. You're going to find out that you're the wicked that the Bible speaks of. That's right. right. You're going to find out that you are the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's you're right. You're going to find out that these so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are the children of God. That's, That's right. right. That we are the prophets of the Most High. That's right. right. And that the kingdom is only for the children of Israel. That's right. 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 Give me Acts chapter 5, verse 31. And most definitely, you're going to find out that Christ did not come for you. Right. He That's came right. for his people, right. which are the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the children of Israel. That's, That's right. right. Read. The Yo. book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 31. Yo. Him have God exalted. We're speaking about Christ and say, Him have God exalted. With his right hand to be a prince. To be a prince. And a savior. And a savior. For to give repentance. To who? To Israel. To who? To Israel. Now, repentance is only for the children of Israel. That's right. Right. And forgiveness of sin. So guess what? Our sins are forgiven through Christ. Right. And it's only for the children of Israel. That's right. You've got to stop giving what's yours. 
to the other nations. Right. Give me Baruch 4 and 1. We Get got up. to stop giving what's ours to the nations. We got to understand that the kingdom is ours. The right. kingdom is for us. Wait, hold that. Give me um, Daniel 7 and 27. We got to understand that the kingdom is for us. The promises are for us. Right. No. These ghettos aren't for us. That's this right. is our place where we're being punished for not keeping God's law. That's no. right. Read. The book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 27. Bring it out. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom. The kingdom, kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom is what? And the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven Read. shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. It's right. going to be given to who? To the saints of of the Most High. It's going to be given to the saints of the Most High. All right. All right. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Our kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Right. Free. And all dominions shall serve and obey him. All what? All dominions. All the other nations shall do what? Shall serve and obey him. They're going to serve and obey him. That's we right. are going to rule in the next kingdom to come. That's right. Right. That is the promise that's given to us. That's right. Right. Give me um, Romans chapter 9, verse 2. That is the promise that's given to us. That the kingdom of heaven is ours. Right. We should want the rulership. We should want power that's right. on this earth. That's right. Right. We was not meant to be no one's slave. That's right. But we got to look at ourselves in the mirror and realize that we are the servants of these other nations. Right. Hey, brother, let me ask you a question. Do you realize that the kingdom of heaven is for you? That's right. Do you believe that the kingdom of heaven is for you? Or do you believe that we're meant to be in these ghettos and slum fell? It's for me. It's for you? Yes, it is. Let me ask you something. What are you going to do to get it back if you realize that's for you? You got to what? They say you gotta repent. You gotta repent. How do you repent? <laughs> How do you repent? By calling on God. By calling on God. Forgive me for what? You know what sin is? No. So how can you repent if you don't know what sin is? Oh, so bro. You have to learn what sin is. No. Let's, let's find out what sin is. First John chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committeth sin, whosoever commits sin. Transgressive also the law. Breaks God's laws. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the breaking of God's laws. Do you understand? So now do you understand what sin is? Yes. It's the breaking of God's law. What? How many laws are there? Twelve. Twelve. Where do you get twelve from? <laughs> I haven't heard a lot of people say ten. twelve laws. Ten. All right, you say it's ten. ten. Let me ask you a question. It's ten. You talking about no, the Ten Commandments, right? Yeah. It just takes it's right part of the Ten. No, you don't. No. So what about used homosexuality? To it. So there's more than ten. Right. right. There's a six hundred and thirteen laws of God. Right. Let me give you a law right now that you break. Give me First Corinthians eleven. Hello. I'm gonna give you a law right now that you're in the midst of breaking. First Corinthians chapter eleven and verse three. Bring it on. Do you love God? Okay. All right. Let me show you how you love God first. Because, hey, these laws ain't going to mean anything to you unless you know what love is. That's right. Because, you know, hey, we can't just say it and call up God and say, hey, I love you. You know what I mean? That's right. So we got to show God we love him by what he said. You understand? Read. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Hey, Bring it up. Hispanics and Latin Americans, listen up. We're teaching you what love is according to God. That's Read. right. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we what? Keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. So the commandments of God shall not grieve you. So right. if you love God, you keep his commandments. That's right. Is that easy to understand? So like any parent, you love your parent, you follow what your parents do, right? That's right. The, mo as the Most High is our Father. We're gonna, our Father, uh, we're gonna follow what He commanded us to do. Right. That's what we do. So we're gonna find out if you love the Father like you claim. Give me uh, First Corinthians eleven and three. First Corinthians chapter eleven and verse three. Right. Right. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. That's right. 
And the head of the woman is the man. So the head of every woman is the man. Really? That's right. And the head of Christ is God. So he's giving you order. It's Father, Christ, man, and woman. That's that is the right. order. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. So whenever you're praying, or we're prophesying like we're doing now, reading these scriptures. That's right. You got your head covered. Read. Having his head covered, dishonoring his head. You dishonor your head. And who was your head again? Christ. So with your head covered, while these scriptures coming out, you're doing what? Dishonoring Christ, right? That's right. So what are you going to do? It's covered. Uncover that thing, right? You want to leave it covered or you want to uncover it? I'll uncover it. <laughs> oh, the spiritual you spiritually uncovered. <laughs> yes, you spiritually uncovered. Yes. I'm gonna show you what spiritual sin is again. Read it again. Matter of fact, give me what the wages of sin. Let me let me show you what spiritual sinning is. I'm gonna show you what's the wages of spiritual sin. You understand? Romans chapter six and verse twenty-three. Read it. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of what? Of sin is death. Oh, That's the reward for sin will be death. He said the wages of sin is death. So you want to die just to have your head covered? You just said you love Christ. Let me show. Let me, yes. let me show you what hate. <laughs> right, have a good day. Hey, let me first Corinthians. I mean, let me um. Deuteronomy 7 3. I want, you, I want you black men who don't sound out the black woman to listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Neither shall they make marriages with them. The so called black man has turned his back on the black woman to right. marry these dogs. That's right. right. The so called black man is done. That's when right. we lay up with these heathens, it is like laying up with a dog. That's the most right. high said, do not. Commit bestiality. Right. right. Read that from the top. Neither shall they make marriages with them. Read. Thy daughter, thou shalt not give unto his son. We don't supposed to give our daughters to our heathen. Read. Nor, nor his son. I'm sorry. Nor his daughters shall thou take unto thy son. We don't supposed to take thy daughters to our sons. Read. For they will turn away thy son from following me. That's what happens. Our people will turn their back on the Most High God. Oh, the right. God that they proclaim the love. They will turn their back on him just to lay up with these heathens who are the enemies of God. Oh, that's right. That is why we are at the bottom right now. Oh, that's that's right. why we are in this condition. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Because we refuse to hearken to God. We're in the bottom of society. Earth the bottom right. of society for not wanting to keep the laws that, hey, God commanded us. The wisdom that God gave us. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Hello. But it shall come to pass. Meaning that it will happen. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And that's what happened. Our people did not want to hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That's right. To observe, to do. All his commandments. To observe and to do all the commandments of God. Read. And his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Hey, brother, let me ask you a question. Hey, brother, you got time for a question? What about you? Read. You got that time for all, a question? That all these curses. What? You got time for a question? I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know your nationality according to the Bible? You know who God calls you according to the Bible? Yeah. Who? Who God he called me his child. Yes, but do you understand what nation of people that you come from? In the Bible, there's 18 Ethiopians. nations. Ethiopians. You come from Ethiopians. What make you say that? Because I'm black. There's many people that are of color. Almost every, everybody on earth is of color, except for the so-called white man. See, God created 18 nations, and the nation that God loves is the children of Israel. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What 18 nations he, he, he created? He created. Noah's three sons, Shem, Japheth, and Ham. From those three sons, the earth was repopulated. Yeah. And 18 nations came out of those three sons. All right. I'm going to show you what nation that you come from. Give me, how do you, you know how we got over here? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 16. We came over here on slave ships, right? 
We came over here slacious, right? What did the Deuteronomy have to do with us? I'm going to show you. Yes, that's a good question. So let me answer that question. Give me Deuteronomy 28.1. Because I'm going to show you that this Bible right here, this is our history book of our nation. If you look on this sign right here, this is what the so-called white men call us. Like African Americans, right? You, if you, um, you would call, if you see yourself an African American? No, I'm not African American. I'm American. Okay, you can see yourself American. I was Black born American. here. All right, understand this. This is what God calls you. See, this is what the white man calls you. Because saying you're American, saying that they named the land after a white Italian sport named Americo Van Pucci. And you don't come from the white man, now do you? So our people came out those slave ships. Those people that came out the slave ship are the children of God. They the Israelites. Right. And you ho 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 ho. How you figure the children of people that come out of slave ship Israelites? Deuteronomy 28, 68. I'm gonna prove it. Israelites. Because, well, I'm gonna prove it. Watch this. Listen, I'm gonna prove it. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now the word Egypt means a uh, house of bondage or What's another word for bondage? Slavery. Okay. So he said, I'll, listen, he said, I will bring I you into where, Egypt. I see where you trying to tie that in at. Well, let me well, ask you this. I don't agree Watch with it. that. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let me ask you one question. Hey, brother, let me, let me ask let you me a question. Let me answer the ask, first let one. Let me ask you a few hey, more questions. Do you believe in doing everything what just is, in order? What, 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 what is your doctrine? Brother, do you believe in doing everything? What, what is your doctrine? This right here. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes. If, if you, yes. Hey, let me tell you something. Our people claim they believe in the Bible until you read it. Until you read it. When the words of God come out, our people flee like little cockroaches when the words come out. That's what our people do. They hate this Bible. Give me Proverbs 28 and 1. Hey, this is what happens when the word of God comes out. Proverbs, read. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 1. Bring it out. The wicked flee. The what? The wicked flee. Please. Because they don't want to hear the word of God. That's right. Read. When no man pursue it. Nobody's chasing them. Nobody's trying to fight our people. We're giving them the word of God. Right. But they flee when the Bible comes out. That's Read. right. But the righteous. The what? The righteous. Those that keep God's laws. Those that love God. Read. Are bold as a lion. So the men of God stand boldly for the word of God. We stand boldly for his commandments. That's we right. stand boldly for those things. Give me 1 Kings uh, 2 and 2. That's what real men do. Real men keep the laws of God. That's right. right. Real men stand up for their people and keep the charge of God. That's right. right. Read. 1 Kings chapter 2 and verse 2. Read. Read. I go the way of all the earth. Read. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Be strong and do what? Show thyself a man. This is how you show yourself to be a man. That's Read. right. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. To do what? To walk in his ways. To walk in all his ways. Read. To keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments. That's what real men do. That's we keep right. the statutes, the commandments, and the judgment of the Most High God. That's right. right. So our men got to learn back to come back to the, be uh, a real man. What? Hey, brother, let me ask you a question. You love God? You love God, brother? Let me ask you. You love God? You get, uh, you, hey, let me ask you a question. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Do you know your true nationality according to the Bible? Let me, let me explain something to you. God is raising up prophets in these last days. You believe, you believe that these are the last days? You believe that we're in the last days? Understand something. What has happened is that we've been in slavery for 400 years, right? By our oppressors. Our oppressors set up religion. Our oppressors would never teach us the things to raise our people out of the condition oh, that they are right. in. You understand? And so guess what? God is raising up prophets to teach our people who they are according to the Bible. Because without the knowledge of who you are, you won't know what you're supposed to do. Oh, right. Right. This condition. You understand? And so we got to teach our people who they are according to the Bible. And who we are, the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, we are the children of Israel. That's right. right. And the children of Israel were given laws, statutes, and commandments by God. We are the children of God. Give me Amos 3 and 1. And just like any children, guess what? 
you have to follow what your parents uh, command, right? That's right. God is our father. You say you love God, right? Watch this. Read Amos 3 1. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, read. Against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt. That's when Moses brought our people out of captivity out of Egypt the first time. Read. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Now he know everybody. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. God only deals with the children of Israel. That's God right. deal with all the other nations. That's God, right. All that, what you don't learn in church has been a lie. That's Please. right. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So guess what? We're in the ghettos. We're getting shot down in the streets. We're at the bottom of society because God is punishing for not keeping his laws. That's Please right. Army 2015. Let me prove that. Because that's what happened. Don't your parents punish you for being disobedient? That's what happened to us. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do what? All his commandments. So he commanded us to follow his laws. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Oh, Read. Right. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Give me verse 48, uh, 6. So he said, all these curses shall come upon us and overtake us. You understand? Read. Deuteronomy 28, 46. Bring it on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So he said those curses are going to be on, on you for a sign. Just like you know that you're on something street. By that sign, he said these curses are going to be on our people for a sign to allow us to know who we really are in these last days. That's right. You understand? Read. For a sign and for a wonder. Read. And upon thy seed forever. So he said it's going to be upon our seed, upon our children's children forever. Yeah, Read. Verse 47, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Because you see our people, they claim they love God, right? But guess what? You're the only one standing right here right now That's right. the word of God is coming out. So that lets you know that our people are liars. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Hey, we didn't serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart then. We're not serving God with joyfulness and gladness now. What we're doing is serving our own selves. That's we right. We're creating a false doctrine amongst ourselves about what God uh, does, wants. You know what I'm saying? We base that off of what we feel, off of our emotions, but not off of the words of God. Read. For the abundance of all things. Read. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. So right now, guess what? When you go work for your uh, work at your job, you got to serve your enemies. That's right. right. But God is going to show you how you got to serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Because he sent the so-called white man against thee. That's Read. right. In hunger. When you want food, you got to go to what? Our enemies. We don't own these grocery stores. That's right. right. Read. And in thirst. Hey, if you don't pay your water bill, who's going to turn it off? Exactly, your enemies. That's, That's right. right man. Read. And in nakedness. The clothes on your back. You got to go to who to get them? Yeah, who owned those department stores? The so-called enemy. Right? That's Read. right. And in want of all things. In the want of what? Of all things. You want an education. You want a driver's license, a marriage license. If to be uh, legally declared dead, you got to go to your enemies in the want of all things. That's right? right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. You see this picture right here? There go those, those yokes of iron that are upon, that were upon our neck. Free. Until he have destroyed thee. Guess what? You know how we destroy it now? This is how we destroy it. We go by African Americans. Jamaican, West Indies, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Dominicans. That's we don't right. know the names that they call them. 
We don't go by the names that the Most High called us. Right. right now, we don't know that we're the children of Israel. That's we don't right. know that we're God's chosen. Oh, right. We think we Gentile. Right. We don't know that the kingdom is for us. Right. Right. We right. think it's for everybody. Right. But the kingdom of heaven is for us. Right. Don't right. understand right. that. Matter of fact, give me uh, Revelation uh, 21 and 12. Right. I'm going to show you that the kingdom of heaven is for us. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. Bring it out. It had a wall. Great and high. So the kingdom has a wall, great and high. Read. It had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. Not one big pearly gate that that lot had told us of in church. The right. kingdom has 12 gates. Read. And at the 12, and at the gates, 12 angels. So there's going to be an angel at each gate. Read. Right. And names written thereon. There's going to be names written on those gates. Read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. No, the, of everybody. Of the children of Israel. So if you don't know which tribe you come from, you don't know that you're an Israelite, guess what you're not doing? You're not walking through those gates. That's right. right. That's what's going to happen. You're not walking through those gates. So guess what? The truth has to come out. The truth, give me, um, give me the truth. The truth has to come out in these last days. That's right. Because why? We've been fed lies. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Right thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read. And thy law, what? It, thy law. The laws of God. Is the truth. That's the truth. We got to come back to God's law. Because do you understand what sin is? Never been told what sin is. But they tell you sinners can't get into the kingdom, right? They always tell us don't sin, but they never told us what sin was. And you hear people say, hey, hey you got to repent. But how can you repent from something you don't know what sin is? So let's find out what sin is. Read. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committeth sin. So whosoever committeth sin. Transgressive also the law. Transgressive also the law. Listen up. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is what? The transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of God's law. Oh, right. You understand? That's what sin is, breaking God's law. That's right. And look, I'm going to give you a simple law that you be breaking that most high say, hey, we can't do that. Because the way you sin is what? Death, right? So do you want to die? Exactly. You want to live, right? So we got to first learn the laws of God. Give me uh, Leviticus 21 and 5. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it out. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So you can't say your head bald like Michael Jordan. I can see you going naturally bald. Yeah, you keep your head down low. Hey, let it grow bald. That's called clean. That's a clean bald. You understand? But hey, don't say your head completely bald like Michael Jordan. I'm going to show you about this other law you're keeping. Though. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. So you got your beard. You keeping that law. You that's understand? right. Read. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So you, we don't supposed to have tattoos. So if you got tattoos, don't get any more. That's right. That's what we pit me. To turn away from your sin. You know what I'm saying? To turn away from your sin and turn back to righteousness. I'm going to give you another law. Give me numbers 15 and 38. You'll see, as you look around, you'll see that all these men are keeping God's law. You'll see that we're keeping the laws of God. Because we want to make it into that kingdom. You understand? The Bible tells you to make your election sure. That means, hey, keep these laws. Read. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. This is you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's who right. are the children of Israel? Read. That's right. And bid them, command them, that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. They command them to make them fringes in the borders of their garments. You understand? And you, you know what a fringe is? Look upon each one of us. We got these hanging off our shirt. These are fringes. Read. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So you see a ribbon of blue upon these fringes. And God said, do this throughout your generation. That's right. Forever. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe 
That they may look upon it. They may, that we may look upon it and what? And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. That's what they for. So for us to look upon these fringes and remember the laws of God and do them. Like that shall not cuss, you know what I'm saying? That shall not steal. Dude, we're supposed to remember the laws of God and do them. This is what these fringes are for. A reminder of us not to fall back into sin. That's right. You understand? And that's what happens. Since our people don't know the laws, Guess what? We stand in Mr. Sin, and when we stand in Mr. Sin, God does not fight for us. God does not walk with us. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.